Drummers, what's going on? It's Brandon from Drum Mechanics, and we are hanging out here at Strat Internal Performance, and today we're gonna to talk about exercise. Should you be exercising? How do you think about muscle on your body? Do you even think about either of those things relating back to drumming? So professionally, I've talked about this. I am an exercise specialist and a muscle specialist, and day to day, I work with people to help them move better and they leave my business feeling better and we do that via the muscular system. And that's the reason why I talk about the muscular system so much, is the human body is extremely complex. We have multiple systems that are involved with helping us move, articulate motion and keep us strong and healthy, but our muscles are the ones we have voluntary control over. So. Why am I always talking to you guys about exercise? Well, as an introduction to this next series, which I'm really excited about introducing some resistance exercise to you guys, we need to talk about why it's even important. Exercise is important because this drum set behind us is an extremely physical system. Even though it is a musical expression, we are expressing that music via our body and via how we orchestrate our muscular tension over all of our joints. So, if we have more muscle mass and more strength and more control over our skeletal muscle, we can actually get better at the instrument behind us. Now, there are two elements we should talk about that's a little different than we talked about in the article. One is fitness and boot camp style exercise, synonymous with what I'm talking about, and it's not. And two, shouldn't you just be developing the muscle on the instrument as you're playing? Now, that's a great question. I'm already playing the drums. Since my muscles are involved with playing drums, shouldn't I just get a bit stronger and get those muscles stronger from playing drums? And the answer is yes. But only specific series of muscles will start to develop. As you practice more and more and more, your body will develop strength and get really, really good at using certain muscle groups based off the technique, your body, your previous injury history, and your health history, and get really good at using some muscles and not being so good at using other muscles. So, resistance exercise is an amazing way for you to isolate each individual muscle. And in a moment, we're gonna go down on my gym floor and I'll try to show you exactly what I mean by that. It's really, really cool. Now, there's a lot of different fitness systems out there. CrossFit is an extremely popular one. Boot camp exercises are all around. Some of you might even go, well, I garden. That's considered exercise. And frankly, I would not consider any of those necessarily forms that would help you with the instrument behind me. Now, CrossFit and those boot camp classes, there are elements that would transfer because there's a lot of cardiovascular and anaerobic, anaerobic conditioning, which will help you with performing, but CrossFit boot camp exercise and really high intensity circuits kind of fall into the same category as drumming. Only the muscles that are the weakest in the exercise or task that you're doing are gonna get any benefit from it. If you're doing a crazy exercise like a squat, for example, and you have a huge amount of weight on your back and you got a barbell, that exercise is a great exercise, but the muscles that get tired are always the weakest ones. Same with drumming, right? And so there's some specific groups of muscles that we'll talk about down the road. So those are great forms of exercise, but I would say that if you wanna get the most bang for your buck time of resistance exercise that will help you to be healthy as it relates to drumming, those may not be the best choice specifically to help you with drumming. Great exercise, but may not be the most effective to help you with getting stronger, faster injury prevention behind the drum set. Cool, so let's head down to the gym floor and talk about this a little bit more. All right, everybody. So we're down on the gym floor and I wanna show you this kind of functional or this transferism, if that's a word, that comes from doing resistance exercise as it relates to playing the drums. So let's take a drumstick and pretend that I'm playing just a single stroke and I'm holding it kind of like so. You guys can see that being in this position, I have some wrist motion. If I'm being a little bit more aggressive, there's some elbow motion, and then there's some finger stuff going on. Now, for me, if I was gonna actually try to work on strengthening this, there's a bunch of different exercises that I can do. But check this out, if I'm holding this, and then I put this down, and I grab a free weight, and I do a standard bicep curl, can you guys see how the position of my arm here is actually really quite similar to the drumstick? And suddenly if I turn my hand down, so my thumb is facing down, this is actually almost the same thing, right? See this position here? If I put that down and then grab this here, see this position here. Here's what's really cool about this. How I can go fast with this drumstick is a combination of my ability to control my muscles, my ability to control my technique, the way I control my hand, how I think about moving my hand, the response off the drum, all those are very important. But if I can get better at controlling all the muscles involved, for example, much like I just demonstrated by doing this kind of weird wrist curl, 
there might actually be some benefit and some transfer by getting really strong and being able to do this 20 pound dumbbell like this and how it relates back to the drumstick. If I can get those muscles stronger in this scenario, that will only take 30 or 40 seconds for me to reach a level of fatigue and potentiate it and get some great benefit to transfer over, it'll absolutely help me with my drumsticks. Now here's again another cool example. We've got three different versions of an exercise like this that we'll talk about more. We've got the regular bicep curl where your palm's facing up, the hammer curl some people will do where your palm's facing in, where it's a neutral grip, and you have the fully pronated palms down grip. Each one of these three exercises, which don't do those yet, we're going to talk about that, each one of these three exercises has some value that could transfer to you playing with the drumsticks which is really cool. So that's what this series is going to be all about. But I don't want you to be afraid of growing muscle. I've heard so many people say that if I grow too much muscle, I'm going to get slower. I'm going to lose mobility. And frankly, that is nearly impossible. There are professional bodybuilders who are also professional drummers, and they haven't slowed down yet. So why would you? The amount of muscle you would need to grow would have to be obscene. And I promise you there's not enough performance enhancing drugs out there for you to get that amount of muscle in the next year. Maybe there is, but don't try it because you'll probably have a heart attack first. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. I'm going to go back upstairs and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative. I really appreciate it. This is Brandon from Drum Mechanics, your biomechanics and fitness resource for the modern drummer. Look forward to seeing you next month.